Perfect. All right, guys. So welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for coming to today's uh, business live info session, uh, also a Q&A session as well. Um, we're so grateful that you guys uh, decided to come and join us today and learn about business. Um, before we get started, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that my name is Brandy Mendez. So I'm the academic advisor in business. You'll learn a little bit more about me in this presentation and kind of what my role is to business and how you and I might be in lots of chat. So maybe next year if you guys join us. Um, but before we kind of really get into it, I'd like to also introduce a special guest today, uh, Brad Onofrichuk. He is the Dean of Business, and I'll turn the time over to him to just say a few words. Thanks, Brandy, and thanks everybody for joining us this morning on, on this open house. We're excited to have you here today to, to kind of share a little bit about what we do here at Lakeland College, particularly in the, in the business school. Um, I taught in business for about just about 10 years before I moved into administration. And I can tell you that it's a wonderful program. We have a great lineup of faculty and of courses. And I might steal some of Brandy's thunder, I don't know, but uh, you know, we, we do quite well uh, in, in terms of student experience. So we have Synergy Speakers Corner. I'm sure that will be explained a little bit more in detail later. Uh, where students have the opportunity to get some public speaking skills. We've also taken students to a, a yearly competition and it rotates around the province. It's a competition called the Alberta Deans of Business Case Competition. And I was a coach for about four years and we've placed not every year, but we have placed first, second and third in the, the history of that competition. And uh, so we perform very well against other colleges and universities in Alberta. And uh, the other thing I'll brag about is, and I'm sure this may come up at some point, that uh, Huffington Post did a, a survey uh, from students that had attended colleges and universities across the country. And Lakeland College uh, was awarded the first place in terms of accessibility to instructors. So I, I can tell you and vouch for and students are vouching for the quality of instructions. The instructors are there for you. Uh, they love to hear from you and to get to know you. Uh, in fact, I, I taught Brandy. Brandy was one of my students when I was an instructor. And, uh, and we are very concerned and very interested in your progression, not only through the program, but um, how you're doing in life. So these are some things to look forward to as you're thinking about coming to Lakeland. And so I just want to thank Brandy for putting the presentation together today. Uh, I think you'll be well informed. You'll have lots of things to think about. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure she'll ask a few times to reach out. Uh, but you are in good hands. We're excited to have you here on behalf of Lakeland. We welcome you and uh, looking forward to seeing all of you uh, this upcoming academic year. Uh, so take it away, Brandy. I'm going to check out now, but uh, I've got another session to go to, but uh, appreciate everybody today and, and best wishes to all of you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brad. All right, so let's kind of get started here. So the first thing I would like to share with you is a very recent video that we have just uh, put together um, a lot. We actually had uh, a handful of different students that are currently here at Lakeland College, as well as a few alumni um, within this last month, give some testimonials on their uh, experience here at Lakeland College. So I just want to be able to share that with you. Um, just one second here and I'll get this and I'll get this shared. All right. Give it a second for it to pop up on everyone's screens. And here we go.
All right, perfect. So yeah, again, these are our students that uh, just recently uh, either started school, they, or they're either into their second year, or you'll see there that we had uh, third and fourth year students into their Bachelor of Commerce, which we'll talk about in a bit. And then we also had alumni. So to see the spectrum of students that have been positively, positively affected by Lakeland College is absolutely amazing, um, especially as a, a, an alumni myself, as well as you know, seeing um, the how amazing it can be to affect students' lives uh, going forward. So with that, um, I'm going to jump into our presentation now. Just give me one second. All right. I'm going to share my screen again. Perfect. All right, and everyone can see that all right. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll get kind of right into it here. And then what, I, like I said, this is also a question and answer period as well for anyone who has any questions. Um, so what you can do is you can put in questions along the chat and I'll adjust them afterwards or you can put them in uh, in the chat afterwards as well. Or at the end of the presentation, you can use the raise my hand uh, feature in Teams and I'll call on you and you can unmute your mics at that point and ask some questions. Um, so with that said, uh, let's let's get started. So uh, yeah, essentially welcome to business. So again, I just kind of want to start a little bit about me and what my role is and uh, how you're going to see so much of me and and the act essentially the academic advisor in your in your program if for you if you decide to join Lakeland College. So as the business academic advisor, I am essentially here to help you through your academic journey. So I can provide you with educational advice. I can answer questions about your program and potential career opportunities and anything like that. And basically what I am here for is it's a partnership between me and you as the student uh, to be able to help you along, to be able to help you accomplish your not only your program, but then your goals as well. Um, so such things that we would potentially talk about is stuff like course selection. We would talk about course drops or withdrawals and any concerns around that. Um, we could talk about transfer credit, whether it's, whether it's transfer credit coming to Lakeland College or cut transfer credit going out of Lakeland College. Um, and also generally just anything that might be relevant uh, to your program, any questions that you might have. And even if it's not business related, I can always be one of the first points of contact if you're not quite sure where to go or to where to get your inquiry solved or whatever the case may be. All right, so let's jump into the main reason why you kind of wanted to join this session today is kind of hear about our programs and what we offer. So the you'll see here on this slide that we have uh, one year certificate programs as well as our business administration two year diploma. So we're going to start with the certificate programs and then kind of work up. So the first one that we have is our administrative professional program. So in that program, you'll learn technical and interpersonal skills. So you'll learn things such as uh, bookkeeping, office procedures, computer applications, uh, communications, human relations even, and basically what's it's going to prepare you to be able to work in a modern office once you've graduated. Now, the really neat thing about this, um, you know, one of the things that our Dean touched on earlier in his comments was some of the experiences that we offer. And so in that particular certificate program, they actually we actually have a three week practicum. Uh, so because basically it's a work integrated learning opportunity that will allow you to you know work in an office and be able to build your resume skills and and practice everything that you had learned throughout the year and by graduation you will be ready to work in a modern office which is really awesome 
So moving on into our accounting technician program. So in this certificate, you'll learn uh, technical accounting skills. Some of those things would be and include processing invoices or preparing tax returns. Uh, you'll manage accounts, maybe uh, payable receivable. You'll learn about payroll and also a variety of data entry. Uh, the opportunities you know, for employment could be such things as uh, accounting technicians, bookkeepers, uh, you know, clerks for accounts receivable or payable, or maybe you work in payroll. Um, so lots of different opportunities there as well. And one of the neat things, again, leading back to experience, is that accounting technician students actually have the uh, opportunity to take part in the tax clinic. And what that tax clinic is, is um, an opportunity for accounting students to actually prepare tax returns for people within our community in the nearby area. So we've actually had students in both the accounting technician certificate as well as the two year diploma accounting major that actually prepare tax returns and that have volunteered over one or two years and being able to gain that skill set and and also learn those interpersonal skills too when you're asking tough questions or anything like that. So you can see how like you can get some real awesome job experience uh, through those kinds of opportunities. Uh, the last certificate program that we have is the one year cert certificate business administration. So what that essentially is, is the first year of our two year diploma. So in that program, you'll learn uh, things like communications, um, marketing, computer applications, and you'll get all the basics of business that are really important and foundational to potentially move on. Now, the nice thing about the exit uh, business administration certificate is that you actually have the ability to move on into your second year of your diploma if you were to so choose to do so. If you're not really sure if you wanted to do one or two years, you can start with that certificate and then decide to go on if you would like. And actually, speaking of moving on, the accounting uh, technician certificate is also the same way. You can actually move on into the diploma should you so choose to do that as well. So that's a love being the fact that, you know, our certificate programs have the ability to kind of move on into the diploma programs if you so choose to do so. Oh, uh, and <laughs> I jumped a slide too quickly. Um, so now moving on into our business administration to your diploma. So we have, uh, you know, I, that's probably what we're most known for and probably one of the things that you guys wanted to know the most of. So our business to your diploma, we have uh, five different majors that we offer. So those majors include general, uh, accounting, small business and entrepreneurship, real estate appraisal and assessment, and then also returning to the mix uh, starting fall of 2022 is our marketing diploma. So we're super excited about that. All right, so what are you going to be learning within your diploma? Kind of like what we talked about with those certificates. So uh, again, in your first year, a lot of the things that you'll be learning would be things like accounting, economics, uh, marketing, communications, business math, com computer applications, and those uh, such things, which is really, really awesome. Uh, it gives you all those foundations that you need to be able to move on into your second year. And then when you do move on to your second year, then you will start learning uh, the things that are more relevant to the major that you have chosen to, to pick. So for example, if you were in the small business and entrepreneurship major, you would start to focus on things such as small business management, uh, business law, management accounting, leadership, salesmanship, and anything related to being able to manage your own small business. Uh, for example, if you were in the real estate appraisal and assessment major, you would focus on things like assessment principles, farmland evaluations, uh, property analysis, property law, and so much more. So you can start to see how you branch out depending on the major that you're in. Now, one of the really cool things about the general major is that the second year gives you so much flexibility in what you can choose to do. Uh, so, for example, if maybe we have a major that you uh, don't that we don't necessarily offer, but you want to focus on, you could um, maybe put as many finance courses into your program as possible, or maybe you want to you're not sure what you want to do, so you want to do a little bit of HR and a little bit of finance and a little bit of anything to just see what your thoughts are about business. And that is really cool because you get uh, in the general, you get the ability to 
try so many different things, which gives you a lot of flexibility as well. So, um, yeah, there's lots of things and lots of different pathways that you can take, even within our just our five majors. All right, so one of the things that Lakeland Business has more recently offered, which has been really beneficial for a lot of students, is to have our first year courses online. So across all five majors, there are 10 common courses, again, like the accounting, the marketing, economics, etc., uh, that are all the same across all five majors. And uh, we offer those online as well. So what do those online classes look like? Well, online classes are an independent study uh, course, which means you work on the course on your own time and whatever works for you. And there's no scheduled lectures, so you don't have to be required to be anywhere at any certain time, whether it's like online lectures or, or anything like that. You don't have to, there's no requirement to be there. So again, it's on your own time. So if you were to say have a, a job throughout the day, uh, then you would be able to uh, work on it in the evenings or whatever the case may be. Now, just so you are aware, if there is any international students here, um, it would be best to consult with the international department uh, in regards to online, just in case there's any effects there. So just wanted to just make that point there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of make the point of online on, and how flexible it can help you uh, or how flexible it can be and make a difference to your life. Um, but know that if you do take online, that you're not alone. You can always reach out to instructors for help with questions or content or anything like that. Like Brad said, our faculty is absolutely great at helping students, you know, with their content. I, you know, again, I can use my experience as a previous student. Uh, I, whenever I was struggling, I would come into their office hours and ask lots of questions. Um, I would get myself tutors, and which I can explain there in a bit as well. And, the, you know, I was always provided the help when I asked. So that was great about uh, those classes. So again, same thing with online. Our teachers are here to help you succeed. So just talking a little bit more about the flexibility of online, though. So you can students can start in September or January. Uh, you can take a mix of online and face to face classes if you happen to be on campus anyway. Um, you can take courses part time. So if it's, you know, depending on what's going on in your life, it's a, if it's better for you to take maybe one or two courses at a time rather than three, four or five, then that's totally possible as well. Um, and then also the biggest benefit uh, for students, especially that are taking all online courses, uh, is that it actually gives them a whole additional year to prepare to come on campus for their second year. So, you know, if they're working or making extra money or whatever the case may be, it just gives them that whole extra year to prepare before they come on campus. And so that's been a great opportunity for them as well. All right, so uh, we, again, what Brad had said earlier and some of the things that we've talked about already is a lot of work integrated learning opportunities, lots of experience essentially, um, and also skill building opportunities. So a couple of things that we had uh, previously mentioned before, uh, for example, would be like the practicum in the administrative professional program or the tax clinic for any accounting students, whether in the certificate or the diploma program. Um, but we also have lots of other things as well. So if you're in the diploma program and between years one and two during the summer, uh, we have the co-op internship where you actually have the ability or potential uh, to work for a company and be able to build those skills there to have job experience and build your resume for when you've graduated. And some students have actually been able to either stay on with the with the company that they recently got hired with in the co-op or maybe or got rehired again after the fact it just gave them some great opportunities to be able to get their foot in the door for something like that which has been absolutely fantastic um, speakers corner is also on there so again speakers corner is a great skill building opportunity where students have uh will meet and they learn to be able to uh, perfect their presenting skills and so anything from like confidence to um you know good practices to uh, <laughs> being able to present and stuff like that. So it's actually been really successful over the years. Lots of students have been 
so much more successful at presentations, whether it's, you know, in their work or, you know, even being better in the classroom and their grades are increasing or whatever the case may be. Um, we also have uh, been working with a program called Ripen. So that's an online platform that brings students, educators and uh, companies together. And so on that online platform, actually, we've actually had students in some of their class in their classes work with Ripen and be uh, and work on actual projects for real companies around the globe, uh, which has been really, really neat because they're actually doing real projects for these companies. These companies reach out and they say, this is what we need. This is what we're looking for. And students actually do that for these companies. We've also had students do projects outside the classroom that they actually get paid for as well. So there's lots of cool opportunities like that through Ripen. Um, we've actually had classes and programs work on different events around the community. So, for example, we have the Inspiring Women's Conference there that I have listed, and I, we use that as an example because that's one of the events that one of our classes actually planned and ran, uh, which was, again, gives you real that real experience of being able to uh, get those those skills and those resume skills and and uh, again, that hands on learning. Um, students have been part of like ambassador programs where they volunteer to, you know, show other students around the school, um, you know, those kinds of things. We've had students that have been hired at, by Lakeland College to do things such as uh, be residence assistants or student enrollment assist assistants. And so lots of like just job opportunities too here within Lakeland College. Uh, we've had students be part of a students association uh, where they actually got elected to do to uh, represent the school and represent the students, which has been neat. Um, the student that you see there in that picture has been part of the students association for quite some time. Uh, I think at two, maybe even three years now. So that's been really exciting for students like that to be able to be part of those types of things. Um, you know, Brad also mentioned the business case studies, the uh, group where they actually go and compete against other groups. So that opportunity actually gives students the ability. So what happens is that they get a case in regards to a real uh, like a real company and they learn about that company as much as possible and they have to solve the problem of whatever it is. They come up with different ideas and then they decide on one and then they have to defend it and say this is our idea to solve the problem because and such and such and such. And, and uh, again, like Brad said, we've had uh, students uh, compete in that and get first, second and third place. Like it's been absolutely awesome. We've had a, a good record for that over the years. So yeah, again, at the end of the day, you know, business has a lot of work integrated learning opportunities, you know, other programs might have, you know, different labs and uh, bio and chem labs or power engineering labs or whatever the case may be, but we are also right up there as well because we also have these work integrated learning opportunities that gives you what you need to be able to go out and get this and get the jobs that you guys are wanting to get. All right, so I don't know uh, of you, how many of you guys might be high school students, but if you guys are and you are taking the, the Saskatchewan High School curriculum, we have a really neat opportunity for you guys for dual credit. So dual credit means that you can take one or both of our Lakeland College courses here that are listed and you get high school credit along with uh, Lakeland College credit as well. So that is actually a really cool opportunity for students. So there's different ways of being able to do that. So again, you'll see here Marketing 170 is one of the courses that you can take or Business Law is another one that you can take. And there's different versions of uh, how you can take it as well. So for example, if, during, if you have some time during the day, uh, you could potentially join the in-person option of MK170 or you know we talked about the online we also have the online uh, version as well so maybe you're not in Lloydminster maybe you're uh, maybe somewhere further in Saskatchewan and so maybe the online option works a little bit better for you for MK170 or maybe you just have a really busy schedule or you have classes during the day so it's easier to take an evening on uh, evening in-person course for business law or whatever the case may be whatever kind of works for you so on that slide here this is what is actually upcoming for semester two 
which starts in January. So if that's something that you guys would like to take advantage of, you can totally do that. Um, for anyone that might be a high school student in Lloyd, we actually do have the pathway to do that already. So one of the things I would highly recommend is going and talking to your high school counselor about this potential opportunity. Uh, for anyone that might be outside of Lloyd that would like to take uh, part of this opportunity to receive dual credit, uh, what I would recommend is reaching out to us here at Lakeland College and we'll make sure to be able to provide you the information that you need in order to get involved with this particular opportunity. So what is great about this is when you are completed, again, you get that high school credit, but then you also are one or two courses ahead because you've already got those that course completed. So when you come to Lakeland College, that's one less course you got to take, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so some of you might be thinking or maybe considering that you want to not only get your diploma or your certificate, but maybe you want to go on and actually get a degree in business. Well, even if you're just considering it, we've got some awesome transfer agreements with other colleges and universities, which we, I, which I absolutely love and adore. So, uh, for example, what can happen is you could come to Lakeland College, you can do your business diploma, and then you are thinking about maybe transferring to another place. So what would happen is you would be able to, to transfer your entire diploma. So all 20 courses uh, or 60 credits uh, would be able to transfer to one of the colleges or universities that we have listed here. Uh, so everything that you would take would transfer through and you would basically just slide into year three of whatever program you're thinking about taking. So whether you're thinking about maybe going uh, through and getting your Bachelor of Management, your Bachelor of Commerce, or maybe a Bachelor of Business Administration, depending on where you want to go, what majors are offered at different schools or whatever the case may be, there's a really cool opportunity to just basically transfer and start year three um, in those places. Now, this doesn't mean you're limited to transferring just to those places. Uh, you can always transfer to other areas as well. You would just be aware that you would be transferring course by course and not the um, uh, yeah, you would just be transferring your just course by course, but as an academic advisor, I can be here to help you uh, to do that and figure that out and make sure that things are going to be transferring uh, properly and smoothly and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Now, maybe you become like me and you really love Lakeland College so much that you'd like to actually stick around. Uh, so we actually have one more other transfer agreement through our Athabasca collaboration. And so what that is, is it's, it's a collaboration, meaning a student can actually stay here at Lakeland College and then pursue either a Bachelor of Management or a Bachelor of Commerce while hanging out here still, which is really, really neat. So um, again, uh, this particular collaboration means that you're still a Lakeland College student, so some of those advantages means that you can stay here and take more classes that transfer through to your degree through Athabasca. Um, I, as your academic advisor, can help you along your AU journey as well, so not just your, um, your diploma or your certificate, but also your degree. Uh, you can still be eligible to take part in different teams at Lake here at Lakeland, so different teams and activities. So my, for example, as a student here, I was also eligible to continue to play basketball for the women's wrestlers team while I was here uh, because I am still a Lakeland College student as well, even though I was in my degree with Athabasca University. And then one of the nicest perks too about it is that you get free evaluation of your transcripts and your program plan. So that's a really neat opportunity. And I just kind of wanted to take a moment and kind of share my experience with that. So again, as was mentioned, I was a previous student. So I started off with my diploma here at Lakeland College. Uh, I got to play basketball all along the way and uh, had lots of different opportunities to do that. So then I was able to move into my Bachelor of Commerce and take another two years and still be here during that whole time. Uh, and, the longer I got to be here, the more opportunities I got to experience. So anything from like the reading program with kids to um, I got to be a tutor, which I had mentioned earlier, but our Lakeland College here has a tutoring program where students can be can request tutors for any help with classes or be a tutor. And I got to be both, <laughs> which was a great experience for me. 
And, you know, just lots of different opportunities along the way. I got to be part of the student ambassador program. So it kind of built my volunteer experience and my work experience here at Lakeland College. And it gave me what I needed to be where I am today, and which is here at Lakeland College, which has been great. Um, so that, you know, the, having that experience for me was absolutely amazing. And the reason I love to share my experience is because you guys can have the exact same experience, even if, even if you don't end up here at Lakeland College, but you end up doing something that you just absolutely love. It just shows how Lakeland College can get you there. Um, so really at the end of the day that uh, we just really hoping that you guys join us here at Lakeland College in our business program because we, you know, I absolutely love it. I can attest to it. The students that um, were part of that video at the beginning can also attest to that. And uh, so with that said, that comes to the end of our presentation. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed that and that you got the information that you needed today. Um, now, having said that, uh, it, I'm, I want to open it up for any questions, so I'll give some moments for that. So there's a couple ways you can do that. Uh, again, you can put the, any questions in the chat or you can use the raise your hand feature. I can call on you, you can unmute your mic and I can answer any questions. So I'll give just a, a minute for that. <clears throat> I must have answered everybody's questions. <laughs> um, the other thing too, I just kind of want you to make, make you aware of is that I do have some Calendly appointments. Um, I'll just quickly put that link here. If you want to talk to me more specifically as well, maybe you have some more personal questions that might be more related to you. Um, by all means, you can come and chat with me. I'm just going to here put on that link in the chat here so that you guys have the ability to create those appointments with me throughout the morning and the afternoon. So I'll just put that link in there so you can just go ahead and see what's available and you can come chat with me at different times during the day. All right. I'm um, just thinking about some of the questions maybe that uh, might make a difference for you guys that were in some previous sections. Uh, so one is that, uh, you know, somebody was asking about like stuff like student loans and things like that uh, or financial help. Um, so uh, business specifically doesn't deal with that, but our, we do have a student services department that will help with that as well. So if you have any questions, they'll be able to help you with uh, questions regarding student loans and scholarships and those kinds of things. Um, I believe there is a session at some point today, and then also there was one that was recorded yesterday that should be available for you guys at some point next week if you guys are interested to check out any information. And it's a whole bunch of services, everything from financial aid to our learning commons and uh, wellness and accessibility and those kinds of things. So just some of the things that I can let you be aware of. Um, some of our other questions, I remember one student asked about, you know, if we don't have a certain major. Uh, and I think I previously did address that in our general major. The one thing about our general major is that it just allows you to be really flexible with what you want to do. So even if we don't offer a specific major, you can load up your general major with things that are interesting to you or what you want to do. Um, let's see. Just try to think of some other questions that came up that might you guys might be interested in. Um, oh, somebody also asked about being a student for a day. Uh, so if that's something you guys are interested in doing, that's something you could totally do. Um, what you would do is you would contact Lakeland College. You can contact Kaylee. Uh, she is one of our, re our enrollment and recruitment advisors and she's absolutely fantastic. Um, I can put you, I can put her 
email in here for you guys if that's something you're interested in doing. So if you were ever interested in checking out and being a student for a day and seeing what Lakeland College courses, uh, business courses are like, you can message her, you can come on campus, get that organized for a day and come check out a few classes and kind of what they're like. So that's something you could totally do. Um, let's see. Just trying to think of any other questions. Is there anything that uh, maybe I haven't answered? All right, well, with that said, I think that really comes to the end of our presentation. So I just want to thank you guys all for being here today um, and hearing out what business has to um, has to say and what we offer. And we really, really hope that uh, you're able to join us next year. Um, yeah, so again, thank you for coming again. If you would just uh, one reminder for those of you who maybe haven't already, I'll just kind of redo this. Uh, the information form, if any of you have not filled that out, uh, you guys can fill that out and be entered for a draw for some pretty neat prizes. So again, thank you guys for coming and uh, have a great rest of your day. If any of you want to come chat with me, check out that Calendly link and we can talk a little bit more specific specifically. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.